Hi, this is Jan Larson, and I just want to talk a little bit today about sterling silver thimbles and why I make all my thimbles out of sterling. There have historically been a lot of different kinds of thimbles. This particular collection was found in an estate home, and a realtor friend of mine uh, sent it to me and said, look what I found, and I thought, oh wow, those are beautiful. I had been making sterling silver thimbles for a few years before that, and I knew of the old um, historic and collectible thimbles, but this is the first collection that I really got. So I did a little bit of cleaning and cleaned them up, but they really are mostly a Dorcas brand and in one of the Dorcas cases. You can see there's different sizes of some of the styles, different styles that came along. And if you zoom in real close here, you can see that there's a little patent number and a title on several of the thimbles. Um, so that can give you a bit more history of where they came from and what they're about. The nice thimbles have always been made out of sterling silver or gold. We often use sterling silver because it's a little bit um, cheaper than gold and a little bit uh, harder than gold, so easier to use. There are also quite a few that are made out of copper and brass, a very similar um, hardness, and see the markings on that one. Um, and a, and a very similar beauty factor. Some of these have been really well used. You can see in this one, I was afraid to clean it too much because it might just go right through. This one has a lot of holes right in it. And you can see as the sun or the light comes through the thimble, it makes shadows. So <laughs> these are the kind that you find in the pawn shops. I've gotten several of these little tiny guys from pawn shops that have had uh, funny little issues in them. Uh, this particular one is known to have a stainless steel disc inside on the top, and you can see that whoever had that one was using it so much that they've actually worn away all the silver, and it's the inside layers that are showing through. Also, there's a lot of thimbles that are crunched a little bit. Um, our fingers are not all the same. We have both round and oval shaped fingers and thimbles come in round. And so it's very confusing and very difficult to fit some of these because of that. Um, the thimbles that I make, on the other hand, are over here. I really like to make um, open nail thimbles. I feel like they fit better and they're a lot more comfortable to use. This is one of my favorite new uh, styles. It's called an iris and dragonfly style and you can kind of see why. The sides are both different. It's an asymmetrical design. Um, my, our bodies are usually not symmetrical and they're usually not round. And so this is one of the ones that has been really comfortable. The, the case for sterling silver thimbles both includes the conductivity of your heat, your body heat through the silver and out into the room as opposed to um, the, st the stainless steel or zinc thimbles that hold all of the, the um, all of your heat inside uh, the thimble. These ones are both made out of zinc. Uh, they're a typical uh, one that is sold at fabric stores and at Walmart uh, fabrics uh, departments. Um, they're both zinc. They're uh, not really good conductors and they don't have really nice dimples. They have more of the, the hash mark um, style. There is a little bottom in most of those hash marks, but they're really difficult to get them to really hang on and really do some work. The top of these has a little quilt rim. Most of my thimbles um, have quilt rims on top as well, and so quilters really like them for uh, kind of corralling your needle and keeping it um, maintained inside uh, the bounds of the thimble so you're not punching and sliding all over the place as you're using them. The third kind of thimble that's out there is a silicone and plastic one. This one has silicone, which it, it touts as being um, open on the sides and in the front in order to get some more air conduction. Um, they're sold in a container that allows you to try it on while it's still in the container, so you can see if that's the one that fits you. Um, they can be really snug, and they can also um, sweat on the inside. You, After you wear this for about half an hour, you'll realize that it's getting kind of slippery and moving around in there. And so these are a lot harder to use as well. So the, again, back to the sterling silver ones that I make, I do make a lot of them that are open nail, but I also make a closed top thimble. 
Um, this one is a Van Gogh Starry Night um, style or um, design. Um, we'd like your thimble to have as minimal amount of air up in the top as possible. The open nails allow you to have that minimal amount of air. The closed top ones don't. So this is an ideal uh, shape and size for a thimble. It fits right on your finger. It allows you to push with the end and push with the side at the same time. So sterling silver thimbles are my favorite because they conduct um, your heat and they're harder than most of the plastics or uh, leather ones that other people use.